As you've gotten older, how has your body changed in ways you weren't expecting? Possibly NSW. I fell on a table when I was around 3, and the scar was right between my eyes. 20 years later, it's almost to my hairline. So, my skin, moves stretches? Yeah it moves up, so tattoos on your shoulder can end up on your neck if you get them too young. I heal slower. I know it's one of the things that is commonly ascribed to getting older, but I didn't really realize how much this is noticeable. As a teen slash 20 something, I'd pull a muscle and a few days later I wouldn't even be able to tell. Now I twist my ankle and 8 months later it still hurts if I step on it wrong. I hope you showed that to a doctor. Muscle injuries heal fast, joint tendon ligament injuries heal slow, and are serious. When I finish peeing I have to shake it forever to get the rest of it out, or else I'll end up with pee down my leg. Started when I was 30ish, has gotten marginally worse in the ensuing almost decade. I'm sprouting more and more facial hair higher and higher on my cheekbones. I think my highest hair is like less than a quarter of an inch from my eyeball. I'm going to be a werewolf by 50 at this rate. I have the same issue also. On a side note my neck hair is slowly creeping closer to my chest hair. I figure by the time I am 50 my chest hair will connect to my scalp via my beard that has grown past my eyes. Didn't expect to injure my butthole while taking a crap. Comma. I developed the roids at the ripe age of 29. After some home fixes I'm back to normal. For right now. I've actually discovered the best possible way to drop a deuce and I discovered it through reddit. Rocking back and forth seems to massage the old bowels into releasing a sphincter nugget without much straining at all. It's quite remarkable. Do advise. Would read a game aaa plus 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 plus. I'm 44. My balls hang so much lower now I'm afraid one of these days I will sit on them. I'm 16 and I have totally sat on my sack once. During class, luckily, no one pays attention to me, but I'm sure I said audibly, holy crap frick damn it. <laughs> Who the heck decided that about when I turned 24 I needed the hairs in my nose to suddenly start trying to escape, it's only getting worse, comma. Yeah those annoying bastards started for me too, I am 21 and I am always tearing them out. <laughs> 35 and graze on my scrot, not cool. Silver fox. I thought I'd grow up to have nicer boobs, oh well. It may have something to do with the surprise donkey assume you grew. Oh dear god the heartburn. Drinking tolerance gone to crap. I'm 27 in a few weeks and anything after 3 drinks and I will feel it in the morning. Maybe not full hangover, but sluggish, dehydrated, bit fuzzy headed until I get some water into me. I used to be able to drink a bottle of cheap vodka and wake up at 6am to work out and go to my job. Frick I'm old. Drink water before you go to sleep. Also, a multivitamin before bed will help. Easier to put on weight, harder to lose it. Time to bulk up. I honestly didn't think my breasts would continue to grow after my teen years pregnancy excluded. Yet, yeah, I had resigned myself to living in the flatlands, but at around 23 I realized I actually had something to work with. Hair falling out of my head and growing in my ears. WTF. Hair around the anus. Grew in when I was 18. Completely took me by surprise. Wiping poo off my butt is like pulling peanut butter out of steel wool. Losing my hearing. I have a hard time hearing things clearly, especially if there is background noise, like at a restaurant. I never expected to have enough hair in my butt crack that it would tangle, or to have chest and stomach hair that's roughly in the shape of a cross, which works out well for me, since I kind of look like Jesus. Over the past few years I've developed this hair on my chin. I lovingly refer to it as my pig hair. It grows about a week before my period comes. Never gets longer than one stroke 8 inch. And is super stiff. I pluck that sucker out the second it's long enough to be grabbed with a pair of tweezers. It's under my chin and no one sees it. But I know it's there and it just drives me friggin crazy. I have that. But like 7 of them. If I discover one sprouted and I can't get to my tweezers. I will toy with that little thing all day until I can yank it out. I frequently get, what I assume, are ingrown hairs in my belly button once or twice a year, which I then have to pop, 
disinfect and frequently keep clean. It is disgusting and makes me want to vomit every time. They may be sebaceous cysts, which tend to reoccur. There are a few better options than popping, which can lead to scarring, infection, etc. Like putting a heating pad on it for 15-30 minutes a day. Alternately, a doctor can lance it and properly clean it out, and possibly even prevent it from reoccurring. My feet. Size 9. 1 stroke 2 when I was 30. Now size 12 at 50. Stop growing now, please. Feet. Go see a doctor. Maybe acromegaly. For me, it's just been everything breaking down all of a sudden. I hadn't been to a doctor in like a decade, but I hit 30 and all of a sudden I had to have my gallbladder out. I suddenly got a nasty staph infection. I had a bunch of allergy crap I needed to treat, and I had to have a panel of blood tests done because they thought something might be wrong with my thyroid. And crap takes forever to heal. It's like I'm a car that rolled over 100,000 miles and now it's time to start thinking about whether I'm even worth fixing or it's better to get a new one. Also the hair. I used to wonder how old dudes could walk around with big tufts of ear hair and nose hair hanging out. And then one day I looked in the mirror and it looked like I was smuggling shrubs in my nose. And another day I felt something itching on my ear. Scratched it. And found what felt like an aircraft cable coming off my ear. You should have been going to the doctor more than once a decade. The lack of constant boner. Up until I was 30 I think I had constant priapism. Now I need to stimulate myself with the dirtiest thoughts when I masturbate or if I am fricking with my wife when she is in a drunk. I don't care that I just came home at 1am and you need to wake up at 5. I am frisky and if you loved me you would frick me good. My bloody hips went stupidly wide compared to how they used to be. I don't even want to have kids. God, the hips just keep getting wider. I don't even think they are getting more fat on them. I think my bones are actually moving outward. Body hair. I am Chinese. Usually Asians don't grow a lot of hairs. For some reason I am hairy as an ape. I blame the American food. No way. It's the masturbation. I'm only 50-ish but let's just say that the old pole and tackle aren't quite what they used to be. Stretch marks. From puberty on. On my butt and thighs. I brought it up with my mom when I was about 13. Her response? No. That's not possible. You get stretch marks when you get pregnant. Dut. Obviously not. Mom. My most favorite change as I've gotten older. Realize that real women have stretch marks and acknowledge how vivacious they are. This is something I've heard more about since it happened to me. But at 24 my libido shot way up. From what I'm told, it'll keep going and then plateau until menopause. It's kind of frustrating. I have things to do. Genitalia. Please stop telling me to frick things. Bruises that used to clear up in days take weeks. The amount of crap floating around in my eyes. Looking at a blank white wall. Or a clear sky is depressing. And full of wiggly shadows. I can't tell anyone's age between 14 and 25 or so. They all look like children. I'd say the older they get, the better I'll guess. But I doubt it ever gets better than 50 stroke 50. Where on the dickhead. Quite horrible. Sometimes my semen comes out thick and lumpy. Kind of like salty spaghetti strings. Also my wife says my semen burns her mouth. Demon semen. Demon. Where on my butt. Yeah no one told me it would grow there. Let's start with the testicles. I can tell you. Past 45. You never just slump down in a chair again. I've been in a meeting. I walk in. Sit down hard. And yelp. What's wrong I'm asked. Oh. Just a little back pain I lie. Sitting on yourself. It's a freaking treat. Hair. <laughs> what everyone else said. Plus an accelerated growth rate for eyebrows. Nice. Is. I've sat and pulled out ear hair with my fingers. It's that long. Get a good deep one. Though. And you see stars when that little bugger twangs free. Joints. Getting out of a chair is now accompanied by a grunt or two and a series of sick crunching noises. Food? I never realized that the food I eat today will almost totally dictate the way I feel tomorrow. The cause and effect part is nice and predictable, but you keep forgetting. Toenails. You keep them nice and trimmed, but one day, they just turn into ugly freaking talons. No amount of maintenance will make them nice again. There are upsides though, I think. 
As it would turn out, there are two main body types that run in my family for females. You are either a size 2 or small and naturally and kind of built like a 12 year old boy. Or, if you're like me, puberty kicks in and you take after your great grandparents and end up with a very large frame, boobs, and hips wider than a park bench. When you don't really understand body types and whatnot when you're younger, this can ruin your self esteem because even at a healthy weight I was under the impression I needed to look like my itty bitty cousins. Freaking high blood pressure. What a frick man. Hey, calm down. My lower beak is getting sharper. Godam Nosaha. I hit 27 and it was just Balam. I find that I operate on much less sleep than before. 6 7 hours instead of 8 plus. It's 10 nifty. Seriously, I'm only just out of puberty but I find myself waking at sunrise on weekends. At first I was like WTF Kate but then I realized I'd have so much more time for activities. Kate should be mate, but I'm not fixing it. Every joint effing cracks now. All of them. The worst is my wrist. It cracks and is stiff all the time. That, and my preference for increasingly comfy clothes that I wouldn't have been caught dead in at 16. I'm an old lady at 21, and OP, the BO likely has everything to do with your diet and not your hygiene. I notice a change in my BO when I eat certain foods, fast food, so I avoid them now. It was fine when I was a teenager. Also wheat can be a culprit for me too. I'm only 18 and my entire day sounds like a pop rock circus. Barely 10 years ago, I used to be able to shoot ropes of sperm cum shit across the room after just edging like 9 or 10 times. And I used to feel like Superman when doing so. Now I can't seem to recreate that magic. I feel so sad. This. I used to be able to get it on my face. Now I'm lucky if it's not on my wanking spanner. If I stop in the vinegar strokes a few times the pressure builds. Black shoulder hair. I'm a full ginger. It started growing when I began working out so that may explain it. If you began to work out your legs frequently, that could have done it. Working out your legs releases something like 75% of your testosterone, or something like that, and an increase in testosterone comma more body hair. I'm 31 and my balls hang way too low. Have you ever sat on your own fun bag? It's not fun. Hair growing on my shoulders, is chest, stomach, and butt. I feel like a freaking gorilla. The full on beard is kind of nice. Also, at about 30, my farts and crap smell of some unholy concoction spawned from the bowels of a gluttonous demon. I have to open my bathroom window. I make myself gag at the smell of my own product. It's nothing to be proud of. As a young gay teen, the discovery of butt hair was a mortifying experience. I hear ya and despite what previous comments have said, shaving there isn't a problem for me. I didn't expect to be this tall, 6 feet 6, and I'm still growing. It's a tumor. Did you have to use the word chewable when describing your BO? I expected my boobs to sag eventually, but I figured I had until at least 40. It started at 25, and I wasn't prepared for the deflation effect. I figured I would still have huge boobs, just lower. But they completely flattened out and people think I've lost weight when I haven't and now my nipples point to my toes and I never get to see them anymore. I miss you, nipples. Not sure how much of this is related to aging, or to other stuff. I'm only 28, though, and before someone mentions it, my testosterone levels are within normal range, albeit slightly low. BTW, 1, I wake up at least once in the middle of the night, sometimes 2 or 3 times. 2. I no longer have any libido whatsoever. It was never super high to begin with, but at least it was there as a teenager. I haven't fricked for nearly 2 years, and I don't miss it at all, or ever try to seek it out. Might be a problem if any future girlfriend wants that a lot. 3. I'm more thirsty and drink a lot more liquid. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
Bye for now.